thanks for clicking on my dad's video and the eagle stink again. So if you want to know the truth about them, just watch my dad's video. Make sure to subscribe. Hello everybody. So this week I want to start getting into the cornerback situation for the Eagles. As the week goes on, I want to get into different players' names. I wanted to talk about the draft picks and the guys that I like. Today, I want to talk about just the, where they are overall right now and what I think they need to do going forward. Now, as far as what we have, we have Jalen Mills and Ron Brooks. And I believe that Jalen Mills would actually be a better safety in this league. I think he could be a really good safety in this league. Um, but those are two corners that aren't going to, they're not going to, to scare teams, put it that way, when you're playing. Um, we definitely need to upgrade this position. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that think that we can just draft two corners with the first and second round pick, stick them up, stick them in as our starters, and everything's good because they remember Sheldon Brown and Lito Shepard. Well, the problem is, is when Lito Shepard and Sheldon Brown were starters, they were not rookies. They got to sit a year behind Troy Vincent and Bobby Taylor. And then they had people like Dawkins around them to coach them up. So they got a chance to go out and play for a whole year before they had a start. It's a big difference. Um, I think it's important that the Eagles find some more cap space. I think we have about $5 million, And I think it's important to try to bring in a guy, maybe two, that can at least fill in the Band-Aid role again this year. Because that's what we're going to have to do because we didn't go out and get anybody. Um, but... I think that I read today that they're interested in, a, uh, I believe his name is Marcus Cromartie. Um, I don't know him. I, I haven't seen him play. I don't remember playing, but he played with the Niners last year in a limited role. He's the cousins of DRC and Antonio Cromartie. So he has cousins that can play, but, you know, that doesn't mean he can play. He was, he was undrafted, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if they go out and get him. He would be a cheap route. He played a few games last year, so he does have some experience. I would look at a guy like Justin Gilbert maybe for a year. Um, he was released by the Steelers, um, you know. But you need to get somebody in here that can actually play for a year, give us a year, and then in the draft, I think we need to go from the second round to the fifth round. I would like to see at least two corners taken, at least, and um, hopefully by the end of the year or or next year. They can come in and fill in that position but we are weak we are thin we we are not good at our cornerback position we are not and it's going to take a while it's going to take longer than one year to fix it but that's okay i i don't want to see the rookies i want to see a vet or two come in and and band-aid it up so we'll see what happens but that's pretty much where we are right now with the corners and we'll see what happens um but they definitely got to bring somebody in, and they're going to have to make some space, I think, to get somebody else in. Um, it doesn't have to be Daryl Rivas, you know. It doesn't, you know. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. But that's where I'm at right now with the corners. I think that we need to get somebody in here quickly and then focus our attention in the draft. Talk to you later.